Hello guys, welcome back. Notification is most crucial part of any automations or any projects, even in day-to-day -day life. It could be your mobile notifications, email notifications, etc. Today, in this video, we will see how we can set off an email notifications in our Jenkins pipeline script. I'll show you how you can use the AWS SES service to generate the SMTP server credentials and use them in Jenkins to send emails step by step. So let's start. So I have connected to my Jenkins server. First way what we have to do, we have to configure the email notifications in the manage Jenkins part. So let's go to the manage Jenkins. Go to the configure system in the system configuration part. So here what we have to do, just go below, you will find one extended email notification plugin. Uh, make sure that you have installed the email extended email notification plugin. Okay. So you have to go down and you will see here, we have one option is called extended email notification. So what we need, we need the SMTP server to set up first. So let's see how we can create the SMTP server using AWS SES service. So let me log into my AWS account and you can search it for SES. So okay, this is Amazon SES. What do you do here? First thing you have to verify the email address, the email address you want to send email or use it. Okay, so you have to verify it is simple just click on the create identity okay and then you have to just select email address provide your email address and one email verification link will go to your email address and you have to verify it that's all so once you verify it you'll see here identity status is also as it will show us verified okay now what do you need we need the smtp server so if i go here smtp settings all right uh, for this account you can find here the SMTP endpoint. So this is the SMTP endpoint and the SSL or TLS port which are we are going to use in our setups. So all these details. So how you will connect this SMTP server? So we need to generate the credentials. So what? how we will do it? So simply click on this create SMTP credentials. Okay. And follow the steps to create the credentials it will connect to the im management console and from here you can simply click uh, click on the create and all so it will just go ahead and create it i have already created the credentials and i'm going to use that credentials for the setting so what we'll do here let's go back copy this smtp server okay now paste it here so the SMTP port, so here you can see the SMTP port, I'm going to use the 465, 465, 465 here, click on the advanced one and what you have to do, you have to provide the credentials to connect to the server. So here we can see here, there is no credentials available. So what we can do, we can use click on this add and add the credentials in the Jenkins database right and you have to make sure that select use SSL use SSL now let me just add the credentials click on the Jenkins and here what we need we need the username and password so let me get the username and password okay so once you provide the username and password just click on add so it's added now if I select it here you can see the credentials has been added into the Jenkins server. Okay, just click it here. Now use SSL. So here we have the advanced email properties. I'll show you what are the minimum requirement to add to do the configuration. Now what we need, we need the reply to list or default recipient. Suppose I'll give the default recipient as uh, suppose rngkuswine at gmail.com and reply to list also let me add the same email id okay, okay. so what we'll do here now 
emergency route and allowed domain is not required and that's all now let's go ahead and save it saved now our configurations is done so what you have to do let's go ahead and write the pipeline for the project now i have a project in this github account i have a github account and at this account i have a project called devops wave so what i'm going to do uh, here you can see here i have 15 branches and in this branch test hyphen email 1.1 i'm going to write the automation write the pipeline script okay write the jenkins file so what i have to do this is a java project in this main folder right in this main folder i'm going to add the jenkins file so let's go ahead click create new file just give a file name it's called as jenkins file right so we have to write the pipeline so let me quickly write it here pipeline and what do we need we need the agent right so i can just give the agent isn't any as we need this to run on the master server right so what do you need now different stages stages and stage stage here suppose i need uh, the first step uh, stage is to uh, just build it okay i need to build it so let's add the steps here okay steps so in these steps i need the build to be happen right so you have to write the actual build code to build your project so i'm not going to show you the actual um, the build because it is required lots of uh, tools to set up to do the building you can just go ahead and check my other videos where I have uh, written all this uh, building, how you can build it, uh, writing the code and all the real uh, time project I have already done in a few uh, of my videos. So here I'm just simply showing you how we can send the notifications, right? Email notification. So I'll just write it how just echo statement here, like uh, building the project. Okay. That's all. So it will just print one statement there. So what we do now, after this building is complete, we need to send out the email. We need to send out the email, right? So how we'll do in the stages, after the stages, I'll just write a post section. In this post section, I'll write and success of the success of the build it will send a notifications so what i'll do here let's write success open success just send out one email notifications so how will do this email notifications how will write this code let's go ahead i'll show you from the scratch let's go ahead i want to create a new job or project click on the new item here just give like email notification demo i just gave a project name is called email notification demo click on the pipeline okay i don't need anything to provide it here simply go ahead select pipeline script from the script from the source code management select git and we need repository name okay so just copy this repository name here paste it as it is public it will not ask for any credentials here that's all so i need to build the branch test hyphen email 1.1 right just provide instead of master and provide test hyphen email 1.1 okay email 1.1 now let's save it let's save it so i have now created a 
switch off which is called email notification demo now let's finish it what I need I need to set off and create the pipeline right so let's go ahead configure if you go down here you can see the pipeline syntax as I already have demonstrated and so do you, so do you in my previous videos lots of videos I created uh, using the snippet generator so what do you need here you have to select the option it's called email text extended email right select extended email here and two lists suppose I want to send email rs.ranjitswan at gmail.com okay so here I have just given a mail ID which is already been verified in our Amazon SES service so and uh, subject name you can give any subject so I'll give it like paste email body email sent out from chain please something I get like this now let's click on the generate pipeline script so here is the code just copy this entire code go down and paste it here simple right so you have to use this plugin email ext body email that is the subject uh, sorry uh, that is the content and the subject is test email the recipient is arrested ranjit swain at gmail.com so there is a typo here guys you can see not gmail it's gmail got it now let's save this one commit new file now what we can do let's go ahead and build the job click on the build now let's see so it's running fine what it does is it's just checking out it will take quite uh, okay so very quickly it finished right so you can see here building the project and sending email to rs.ranjitswan so let me connect to my gmail and check whether we have received the email or not okay so we can see here we have received the test email email sent out from Jenkins so this is the email we received from the Jenkins now sometimes what we need we need the complete build log or some more details in the email notification so how we'll add that right so let's go ahead to your snippet generator and here you'll find it out one option is called advanced click on that right you can see here it's called attach build log click on this generate the pattern so it is just adding attached log to let's copy this again okay and uh, go to your Jenkins file just copy paste it here so you can see attached log colon true now what we need uh, here we can see we have success email ext attached log to and what we need let's add one more part is called failure I'll demonstrate if it fails also we can send out the email right so I'll just add one more part here one more block failure and same thing let me paste it here but here I'm just making some in the subject right and just make it success and here I'll just make it as failed right now let's go ahead and save it commit the changes what I'll do it here let me go ahead and build the project again build now so it is just building the project if you go ahead and check yeah email is sent let's check the email yeah you can see here we have received the email and it says us test email success and you can see here the build logs the entire build logs is 
attached see the entire bell box is attached now what we'll do here let's do another testing and let the project or job to fail and we'll see how we are getting getting the failure email notifications also okay what i'm going to do here instead of this suppose you need the subject to be added with the build number with the project name right sometimes the test email is just for a demonstration right and if in your company you are working you need a real time work to do the setups and you need the project name you need the build number right and uh, what is the status everything to be specified there so what you do you have to write the variables right the environment variables in this subject line I'll show you simply where you can get it quickly. Uh, if I go to my Jenkins, manage Jenkins. Uh, so you can get it the variables names, whatever you know it. But here I'll just simply copy some variables which uh, will be used for these notifications. So what you can do it here, go to the extended email notification. And you can see here the default subject name, right? On dollar project underscore name build number build underscore number and build underscore status let me just copy this entire line and provide here instead of this let's simply paste it here paste it here okay now let's commit the changes let's build it once more time email notification demo well now so fourth build is completed very quickly right let's go ahead see i got the email notifications right the project name build number and the status it comes with email notifications demo build number and successful with the build log attached good now what do we do let's let's go ahead and the code to fail i'll just quickly do some changes here and i'll add some command which doesn't exist something i added here in the self script and which will make the job to fail right commit the changes if i go ahead here now let's build now and you can see here the sixth number build is failed okay so if i go right here see we i have now received one email which is says still failing build number six okay and if i go and check this build it says all these details and why it is fail all the details you can see here this command not found now you understood how we can set up the email notifications from the scratch and step by step hope you understood clearly if you have any doubt or any concerns please do write in the comment section below i'll try to answer your queries if you have not yet subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified when i add more videos on my channel please do like and share my videos thank you